Hello, I'm Kyle Poling, field agronomist with Pioneer in West Central Ohio. Today I'm out scouting a cornfield at the V10 stage. Uniformity of growth and dark green color are strong indicators of a healthy crop. Areas displaying unevenness of plant height and growth stage are physical clues of stress. To uncover the reason for those differences, we're going to first concentrate below ground at the heart of the root system. Digging an area four inches away from the stalk all the way around at a depth of six to eight inches. We're going to compare the root mass, angle, and depth and look for clues to explain above ground variability. Permanent roots grow in rings, also known as nodes, and should be evenly distributed around the corn plant. The first four nodes grow out of a compressed triangular area located at the base of the corn stalk and are numbered one through four starting at the tip. These first four nodes are responsible for the bulk of the water and nutrient uptake. Normal growth should be oriented 30 to 45 degrees from vertical. The fifth node is located approximately a half an inch above the compressed triangle. Orientation of growth of the fifth node will be more horizontal before orienting itself downward. The fifth, sixth, and those nodes higher on the plant will all grow in this fashion as their main responsibility is to keep the plant upright. However, roots will take the path of least resistance. Any compaction or density layers within the soil will impede normal root growth. There are three primary types of compaction. Compaction caused by traffic, horizontal compaction, and sidewall compaction. Traffic compaction is often severe and easily identifiable even without digging. Increased equipment size, such as central fill planters, and the importance placed on early planting for maximum yield has made this type of compaction more common. Those rows in the wheel track often have reduced root mass on one side of the plant. Additionally, the roots that are on that side are oriented in a vertical fashion versus the 30 to 45 degree angle that's more natural, reducing the amount of area and soil that that plant is able to mine water and nutrients from. As soil conditions in the spring get very close to fit, some growers are tempted to run a shallow tillage pass in order to dry the seed zone out. In this particular case, a vertical tillage tool was run at a depth of two inches. You'll notice that there are a number of roots that are growing horizontally before they're able to find a fracture and orient themselves in the direction of downward. During periods of drought stress, this plant will show wilting and nutrient deficiency much sooner than if the compaction layer was not there. The third type of compaction to be on the lookout for is sidewall compaction. If soil conditions aren't quite fit at planting, the double disc openers can smear the sidewalls, limiting root growth outside of the furrow. The side view of the plant looks normal in total root mass and root orientation. However, when we rotate it 90 degrees, you'll notice that the roots are growing in more of a line. We refer to this type of compaction as tomahawk roots. Roots are often the unsung hero in a high yielding crop. Take time this growing season and dig plants in your fields. Take note of root mass, root orientation, and rooting depth to know if compaction is holding you back. Don't hold out hope that the freeze-thaw cycle this winter will be enough to remedy it. Instead, make plans for a deep tillage pass below the compaction layer in order to fracture the soil. Best of luck this season, thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.